that too much, Shane? I have an extremely high libido. Should I just have said high libido? That's my mom right there. This is so disturbing on so many levels. Come up there. Come up there. I think I'm just go to sleep. No, no. The second room on the left. The second room on the left. TLC will do anything to get views. They have been known to exploit vulnerable people, whether they are emotionally unstable or physically unwell. Now, they are taking mothers and sons and placing them in a traumatizing situation. So let's get into it. We need to talk about one of the most disturbing shows out on television right now. OMG, this has got to be the cringiest show ever made. Milf Manor. Gross. Not okay. Gross. Gross. I have no other words. Gross. I don't put anything past TLC because they have outlandish shows, but this one has me shook. It's titled MILF Manor, and it features mothers in their 40s and 50s whose dating pool is composed of their own sons. Young men have much more energy. They think out of the box. I want that. Especially in the bedroom. <laughs> <laughs> I only have one word for this show, and it is cringe. MILF Manor is TLC's latest play into wildly uncomfortable reality television. The show is pitched as eight hot moms trying to find love in men half their age, which, okay, but the problem is these men are their sons. So these women are getting together, they all happen to have sons who are in their 20s, and the sons are expected to hook up with the other mothers around their own mother. I have an extremely high libido. Is that too much, Shane? I have an extremely high libido. Should I just have said high libido? Uh, ladies, where's all the men at? I'm ready to connect with somebody who doesn't really care how old I am. I'm all about freedom and people expressing themselves as they get older, but there's something really wrong about this show to its core. Milf Manor wants you to think it's a show about destigmatizing relationships between older women and younger men, but it's actually a show about young men and their mothers being forced to recognize each other as sexual beings in the most uncomfortable ways possible. Supposedly, the shocking twist is that the men are the sons of the other moms or like, you know, all their sons are there, which anyways, it's a whole other level of disgust for me um, during, you know, this era where we are really exposing um, child trafficking and the stuff with Balenciaga and all this. This is programming. This is how it starts. You know, it's normalizing this sort of behavior and saying that this sort of show is acceptable. It should exist. But if it were the other way around, where fathers and men were doing this with daughters, it would be completely problematic. And so we have to really look at what's going on in society. I've actually watched this show and there's a few moments I want to point out because I'm sure as this season continues, it's only going to get worse. But MILF Manor proves that you can always dive deeper into the pits of almost but not quite incestuous hell, revealing that the mother-son duos will share a room and therefore have to either negotiate with or navigate around their family members for any bedroom-based encounter. So if one mother finds a 20 year old son attractive and wants to ultimately do it, which is like what these shows are designed for to capture these moments for reality TV, then she's gonna have to go and speak to her son or he's gonna have to go and speak to his mother and pretty much ask permission. And when these people realized that their you know, sons were the people making up this dating pool, they had an interesting reaction. That's my mom right there. I'm not guys like you. I'm here, Dios mío, en mi vida. Oh my God. Now, this challenge was nasty because, you know, these reality shows have these challenges to keep it entertaining. And at one point, the mothers had to pick out their sons out of a lineup while they're shirtless. There's just a lot of touching. It's blindfolded. It's giving very much like incest and just I don't quite understand why TLC made this show. Like, who is this for? Y'all watching Milf Manor. Touching touching. I just hope she doesn't go below the waist whenever she's broken. <laughs> That, that will be out of line. Out of line. I can't afford that. 
Yes, couple. They share. They're sharing a room, a hotel room. The moms and the son. That was such an uncomfortable scene. And there are so many more because some of these mothers are somewhat eager to get with these guys. At one point, Kelly, Joey's mother, makes everyone uncomfortable because she's pursuing Shanna's son, Ryan, and she actually accuses her son, Joey, of cockblocking her. Do this. Everything that's life. come out of his mouth has been just I'm just wrong. I'm just wrong. And I'm just like. You're welcome. Just, this is your dad. Ma. You're gotta be joking. You know what room we're in. I don't know if you guys caught that moment, but she literally tells her son Joey that this is daddy now, which maybe she's like joking about it. But when you think about the entire show and the fact that this is episode one, everything's moving very quickly given the setup. Like I, I would have thought that these like people would have all like, you know, called it off and wanted to get off of this show because of this setup. But... <laughs> Some are thriving. Although I know she's got it in her to flirt, and she does do that a lot, I've never seen it firsthand experience. Are we ready? Until I'll see you tomorrow. Let me smooth. Yeah. How are we gonna move your mama out of her room? Nah, how could I do that? Can so it's already super uncomfortable, but it only gets worse. And I can't imagine the implications of this and seeing your parent in this kind of situation. If Joey continues to cock block me this entire time, he's going to ruin the experience for me. Go yeah. there, go upstairs. I think I'm just gonna go to sleep. No, no. The same room on the left. The same room on the left. Oh my God, you gotta be joking. Honestly, kudos to TLC for putting this together because I feel like if I was part of the show, I would have like protested and got off of that island or wherever they are, but they're all kind of going along with it. And some people are getting really into it. This one kid, Jimmy, is giving Dan Schneider energy because he confesses that he wants to oil up and massage Paula's feet, which is one of the mothers, and it's interesting to see how aggressive some of these people are in this situation. Um, it makes me question whether they're trying to do this for reality TV, for stardom, or because they're actually like into these mothers. All right, so she's on a date with this young guy. Just look what she says. <laughs> Most comfortable being, you know, on top of her. You ready? <laughs> All right, here we go. <laughs> it's really fun to be in the airplane on the board with Jimmy. And I used to do that with Jose when he was smaller. I love to do that with kids. So this is really fun for me. Wow, we did it! Ma'am, you're supposed to be dating this person. Like, what? why are you bringing kids? This is so weird. Like, is anybody else seeing this? Dude, this is like watching a car accident unfold. Okay, so I just saw this guy describe in great detail about how he loves feet and how he wants to like paint her nails, uh, put lotion and like suck the acrylic. Uh, uh, bro, look, this guy's starving. Look at him. So I have to ask. Well, he talks and like. What is your type? And... I really like men that like to do things like what uh -huh. he just did. Look at his like men that just sit down. He's the... Bro, my, my dude is starving for this woman and her feet, bro. That paddleboard scene is so weird. Like literally he's up there riding airplane like it's his own mother. And I don't have an issue with, you know, older people dating, you know, adults who are younger as long as they're adults. But there's something weird about having like person's child involved and witnessing all of this. And like, I don't know, seeing her play like airplane with that grown man. It's just bizarre to hear her like relate that to her son. TLC must be tired of exploiting the obese people. And now they're going after these, I guess, emotionally vulnerable women who are looking for romance, but happen to be set up with each other's son. And there's no way there's like not going to be any drama. I mean, especially when the mothers are involved, I feel like there's going to be a layer of like protectiveness. But I want you to comment below. Do you think this show is all like innocence or do you think um there's some really weird sick problems here because they're getting a lot of attention and i feel like there's probably gonna be a season two and then like what we're just gonna normalize this i didn't see that coming at all i'm gonna be honest i'm thinking first picking the draft like i'm looking at everything else before my mom thank god for that <laughs> <laughs>
That was actually Shanna Diggs, and she did an interview about the show, and here are some of her responses. They asked her for her overall take of the show, and she said, This was quite an eye-opening experience. Not in a bad way. It definitely was not the vacation that you think. It's a lot of work. Her take on the family twist part of it all, she says, I was okay with it. My son could vet the dates for me and I'd vet the dates for him. Shoot, we would do that even outside of the reality show. My son wanted to see me happy. I definitely want to see him happy. He's dated older women before. He's very mature and charming. And hmm, wow, okay. Sounds like they both were down for this and they were like each other's like swing man. So I mean, I kind of, I mean, that's goals, I guess. I don't know. Looking at some comments on YouTube, it doesn't seem like people are happy with the show. Someone writes, this concept wouldn't be so weird if they weren't dating each other's mothers slash children. Just seems too personal for it to work. Another person writes, what kind of mom would do this with their child? So inappropriate, disgusting. Another person agrees, this is so disturbing on so many levels. Another comment, honestly, even if it wasn't them dating each other's kids, it's still weird and creepy. Age appropriateness is definitely an important aspect of relationships. I kind of agree with that. I mean, I think in some situations there's an age gap and it happens. I mean, that is life. But I feel like the premise of this is to exploit something else in these women. And I found some TikToker who summarized it beautifully. I'm just looking at this scenario like, are you actually kidding me? Because these women that are saying they're going on there to find love are also talking about how they have a really high sex drive and that they want to relive their youth and they want to do something fun and new it's like then go to therapy go to yoga try an activity don't use men as your escape right that's how this distortion continues that's how women continue in these toxic patterns so really what they're looking for is something they won't find there so i want to hear what you guys think in the comments below leave a comment are you watching this show are you into it honestly when i was watching it i did laugh a few times because it's clearly uncomfortable but at the end of the day it's just kind of sick and i hope that like us as society we can like recognize when something's wrong and um i don't know not fall into this trap and then normalize these things and then who knows what tlc is gonna do next i mean i heard there's like someone on like twitter who was like talking about doing things with animals and not that i would ever think that would ever be normalized but who knows at this point girl who the, who knows anyways um here's my email if you guys have any other video ideas for me also i love the lights in my room right now i want to give a shout out to fire neon for giving me this beautiful blue sloan hook sign definitely go and check them out i'll link them below and i'll see you in a new video soon bye guys